literally sitting there, mama laying on the floor, just laying there. Taking her last breath, hearing her trying to say something to us. You just took my sibling's life, my own life. You just took their life for no reason. 30-year-old Tynesha Crawford, a devoted mother of four, was eagerly anticipating the arrival of twins with her 37-year-old boyfriend, Karan Roby. While their relationship had its challenges, marked by volatility and Karan's occasional moodiness and quick temper, Tynesha saw the good in him and chose to remain in the relationship. Known for her sense of humor and ability to bring joy to those around her, Tynesha was a spiritual woman who regularly prayed for healing and a brighter future for herself and her children. Tragically, her unwavering commitment to Roby would ultimately have devastating consequences. Welcome to the American Crime, Femicide Channel. Please like, subscribe, share, and hit the notification bell for future uploads. Crawford, a hard-working mother of four, soon to be six, spent most of her days toiling tirelessly to provide for her children. During her rare moments of respite, she could be found enjoying the company of friends, often the life of the party, or sharing her life on social media. As time passed, the relationship between Crawford and Karan Roby grew increasingly volatile and dangerous. It became an inhospitable environment for an expecting mother and her children. The culmination of their escalating tension and hostility occurred on November 18, resulting in a tragedy. Throughout the day, the couple engaged in relentless arguments. When Roby retreated indoors, Crawford made the painful decision to leave him at a gas station, enraging him further. He hastily summoned a ride and, shockingly, shot an innocent man in the leg without provocation. In a remorseful moment, Roby apologized to the victim. The victim said, the shooter stated, he was mad and had lost his keys, and had a bad day with his girlfriend. Karan then left the scene with the person who had come to pick him up. Later that evening, fueled by anger over Crawford leaving him at the gas station and with her children as witnesses, Roby committed an unforgivable act. He shot Tynesha six times. Paramedics arrived too late, pronouncing her dead at the scene. While police haven't named the victim, those close to her tell me her name is Tynesha Crawford and that she's a kind and loving mother of four who had just celebrated her birthday last month. I was just like, wait, no, there's something wrong. Like, this can't be real. Monice Reese normally uses social media to keep in touch with her friends. We text every day, FaceTime every day. But she didn't think it would also be how she found out a nightmare came true. A mutual friend of ours inboxed me and told me the news. Tynesha, her best friend of more than a decade, shot and killed. Real devastating. In what Milwaukee police say is a domestic violence-related incident. One life is just way too many. A disturbing trend that the director of the Sojourner Family Peace Center says has only gone up since the fall of 2019. As this is a lifetime of loss. It's not just a person is murdered and then they're gone. It's forever. Every birthday, every anniversary, every holiday moving forward is painful for every person who loves the life, you know, the person who was lost. Another friend telling CBS 58 she's known Tynesha since middle school and that she was a cool, down-to-earth person who had recently turned 30 in October. To lose her this quickly was nothing we were planning on having come our way. Tynesha was for one a woman of God and a mother. You know, she, um, put her kids first and everything she did in life. Milwaukee police are still searching for this man who they believe is responsible and ask you to contact them if you have any information. You know, I just want people to just be in prayer because it's going to take a lot. You know, it's going to take a lot of strength from God to get through this, especially with her four kids. Milwaukee woman was shot and killed in what police say is domestic violence. Her family is speaking publicly for the first time. In a CBS 58 exclusive, Ellie Nakamoto White sat down with three of her young children who say they do plan to carry on her legacy. Just before 2 a.m. Sunday near 33rd and Center. And That's all of a sudden it got quite like I, quiet. It I got, got quiet. quiet. And then all you hear is pow, pow, pow. An argument between Tynesha Crawford and two friends say was her boyfriend, Karan Roby, turned deadly. I ran up in there and 
My mom was laying on the floor. Crawford's four children, ages 1, 5, 9, and 13, in the house during the shooting. The police was already on the phone, and my mom was just whispering something to me, but I couldn't understand what she was saying. She was trying to make me think she was saying, I love you. It sounded like she was saying she loved us. Roby was found and arrested a day later, but friends and family say this should have never happened. I don't care how bad a person argued with you, yell at you, you don't, that don't give you no right to just end a life, especially in front of their children. Now they're left to try and heal. One thing that I really want to do before everything happened is to spend time with my mom on my birthday. That's the only thing I wanted to do for real. But, like, it's now that I can't do that. But it's okay. I'll find something else to do. A GoFundMe now created to help with funeral arrangements, Christmas gifts, and necklaces, holding her ashes for each of her children. I'm probably going to uh, probably gonna keep that necklace on, like, even if I get older and older. They say their mom never got the chance to be a doctor. She said, continue with the dream. So now they're working to honor her every day. Nobody else can take her spot. She used to be, like, just my number one best friend. I'm praying to my mama in my dream. Within 24 hours, Roby was apprehended. Ballistic evidence and clothing matching the gas station shooting tied him to the crime. He was arrested and faced a $500,000 cash bond. Two separate shootings within hours, one of them fatal. 37-year-old Karan Roby is accused of killing his pregnant girlfriend in front of her four children after an argument at her apartment at 33rd and Center on November 19th. 30-year-old Tynesha Crawford died on scene. Now, about six hours earlier, prosecutors say Roby shot a man he didn't know in the leg at a gas station near 73rd and Capitol. Surveillance video shows the shooting and the gunman then giving the victim a hug as he got to his feet. According to the criminal complaint, the victim said said the shooter told him he was mad and had a bad day with his girlfriend and that he was sorry for shooting him. Police captured Roby at a hotel in Oak Creek on November 20th. Prosecutors charged him with multiple felonies, including first-degree intentional homicide in the death of Crawford. Her daughter tells 12 News she wants to know why Roby would shoot her mom. Me, my sister, Lamaya. My other sister and my brother was in the house. They literally seen their mama laying on the floor, just laying there. Taking her last breaths, hearing her trying to say something to us. The complaint says Roby was released from prison last year after being convicted of attempted arson in 2018. He remains behind bars tonight on $500,000 cash bond. In the wake of Tynesha's tragic murder and amidst a rising number of domestic assaults, researchers have stepped forward to shed light on the disturbing trend of increased domestic violence during the winter months. Their aim is to raise awareness about available resources and support for those in need. Chris Alyad of the Asha Project says this is the season where they notice domestic homicides and severe attacks peak. During the winter, fatal attacks or near fatal attacks increase. But people aren't calling our office as much as we would like. Ayad attributes that to the codependent and interdependent relationships victims and their abusers have when it comes to holiday plans or providing gifts for their children. It's a huge indication that domestic violence isn't taking a break because the feel-good season is here. Um, it's increasing, if anything. The Domestic Violence Homicide Help Organization has reported over 40 domestic violence murders in Milwaukee since October 16th. Ayad says along with other resources the Asha Project offers, they will also provide a toy giveaway for their clients this upcoming winter. So people know that you don't have to stay in a relationship for the resources that that abuser may provide. Karan Roby is confronted with a grave set of charges that include first-degree intentional homicide, possession of a firearm by a felon, two counts, first-degree reckless injury, and driving a vehicle without the owner's consent second offense. If convicted on these charges, he potentially faces a life sentence behind bars. Justice moved swiftly in this case, but the cost was immeasurable. A pregnant mother was ripped away from her four children, leaving friends and family in a state of profound shock over Crawford's tragic loss. To help cover funeral expenses, the family has initiated a GoFundMe campaign. Let's keep the family and friends of Tynesha in our thoughts and prayers. Rest in peace, Tynesha Crawford.